everyone welcome back to another PSP homebrew video and today we're going to be installing an amazing emulator called Nestor J and it's a Famicom slash Nintendo Entertainment System emulator for the Sony PSP and it's by far one of the best emulators for the console and it has so many features it has save state screenshots TV out speed mode toggles show FPS a bunch of other stuff that we can do within the emulator and I'll be showing you how to easily install it along with copying over your ROMs in the correct folder in order for you to start playing those amazing classic games on your Sony console so let's get started by connecting our PSP via USB cable to our PC alright so here is my PSP USB drive and for this demonstration, I will be using my PS Vita, and that's why you're going to be seeing this PSP MU uh, folder. But no need to worry about that. This is exactly how your PSP should look. And obviously, you must be running custom firmware in order for this to properly work on your console. In the description under links, you'll find the walolo.net link for Nestor J. The latest version is Nestor J AOEXR3. Scroll down to the bottom where it says downloads. And we want to use the last link here download from walolo.net. This is the direct link. So let's hit that. And you must have some sort of an extractor program to right click and open up the zip file. So I use 7-Zip, which works great, and I'll have a link to this uh, program in the description down below. You can download it for free. Uh, so let's right-click 7-Zip and Extract Files. Let's hit OK. And now we have a new folder called Nestor J. Let's open that up. Let's blow this up all the way. And we're going to find five different files within this folder. Let's open up the PSP folder and here we'll find the game folder and within the game folder we'll find the Nestor AOEXR3. Let's open this up and let's create a new folder called ROMs and this is where we're going to place our NES ROMs into this folder and I do have a couple ready to go so let me see if I can bring that up real quick so here are the ROMs I want to copy over so let's get this adjusted and I'll copy let's see here a total of nine games at 2.03 megabytes I have Contra the Flintstones the surprise at Dinosaur Peak one of the rarest games on the console the Legend of Zelda, Little Samson, Mega Man, Mega Man 2, Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros 2, and 3. So drag any of your ROMs you want to copy over into the ROMs folder. And that shouldn't take no time whatsoever. Let's close that out. Let's bring up our PSP USB drive. And let's open up the PSP folder and game folder. Now, if you don't have the Categories Lite plugin, you don't have to worry about what I'm going to do here. But you can just simply uh, copy over the Nestor AOEX folder. So let's hit back. And here is the main folder. And just copy this over into your Games folder. But since I'm using the Categories Lite a plugin that's enabled, I will have to throw this into my emulators folder. So basically, the plugin categories light, I'll have a full guide on how to install that properly in the description down below. And it just basically cleans up your PSP. That way, when you open up a folder, you're not loading up a bunch of different stuff. So I'll be showing you here in just a second. So we have that copied all over. Let's head back to our PSP and see what we got. Back on our PSP console, let's go to our Nestor J emulator and here is the categories light plugin working very well and there are my folders so that way I'm not loading up everything when I select the game section and I'm not waiting for all that stuff to load up 
And what's great is that I can just select that folder and it will begin loading up whatever I need to load up within that folder. So here is the Nestor J emulator. So let's boot that up. And we are in our Nestor J folder. And you might get some kind of error, which is fine. It will say like something is missing, but just hit OK. And you should see this page. And at the top, we have the unofficial Nestor J for PSP name. And right above the square here, or the rectangle, we have the location of where we're at. Here is our ROMs folder. And we can open that up by pressing circle. And here are all of those ROMs I copied over, which is awesome. At the bottom, we have circle as OK, X for cancel, and triangle for up. On the lower right hand corner, we have the battery percentage. And if you do have power connected, you will see those letters of AC. And let's start. Let's go ahead and start the Flintstones game. Just select the game and press circle. And there is our game working just fine. On the top left hand corner, we see the frames per second. This is one of the rarest games on this console. It's crazy. They've only made so many during a uh, small promotion window. Kind of a crazy little history behind this one. Let's move on to the settings within Nestor J. And we're going to be using the left analog. So using your left analog, you want to shift it to the left to open up the main menu. And here we can save our state. We can load our states, uh, delete them. We have screenshots, uh, preferences, graphics, sound, menu color config, key config, rewind, load up cheat files. And we can also go back to the ROM list along with resetting the whole system and also exiting to the PSP menu back to the game here using the analog to the right we can change our screen size and we're still using the left analog we're not using the right analog so the right analog won't do anything you're going to be using the left side so using the left side hitting the right you can change the different sizes of the screen and you can go mirror and you will have to continue to hit the right side of the analog or shift to the right to go through the different sizes. And if you try to go back by using the left, you're just going to open up the menu. So just be aware of that. Let's go back. So yeah, there it is, the screen size. Very nice. And using the analog down will show our battery information. And shifting up won't do anything. So the only options are left, right, and down. And you can do a quick save by pressing the R and select button at the same time. And there is our save states. Very good. So if I end up dying, I can always press R and start. And we can go back to where we last saved it. And holding the R we can actually rewind our game. So if something didn't go right for us, we can always hold the R button and we're rewinding all the way back. So yeah, those are very convenient little options there within Nestor J. So if you're having a hard time with a certain level or can't beat a boss or something, then you can use those uh, nice little options to you know, not lose your lives and stuff like that and just continue to play the game. Let's go back to the ROM list. And it's very easy to switch to any game you want here. And it works flawlessly. I haven't seen any crazy, like, bugs. Uh, for the most part, uh, the games that I chose to play, they work just fine. And I'm very happy with this emulator. It's one of the best emulators for the PSP. And I rarely have issues. And you can play all of your classic games. Let's load up another game here real quick. We'll do a little Samson. This is another 
rare game. Extremely rare. And I'm not sure why this game is rare, but I was watching one of these guys' YouTube channels where they go and uh, find the rarest games in the wild. And Little Samson is one of those rare games that there's not a whole bunch of these titles out there. There's a small count of them. But yeah, really cool. And you can get ROMs from a lot of different websites. Uh, there's a lot of options out there. So just make sure you download from a reliable source and that you don't end up getting a bunch of like crazy viruses and stuff on your computer. So yeah, there you go. One last thing I want to talk about before we end this video is if the emulator doesn't run for you and it crashes right away, what you want to do is go to the recovery menu so you can access that through VSH menu by pressing select. So go through your recovery menu real quick. And for me, it wasn't working, not until I disabled a setting. And I believe this is going to be under our advanced. So go to advanced configuration. And here, if you have force high memory layout enabled, you want to disable that. Let's go back. And another thing that did help was some strange plugins I had uh, enabled. For example, I had the uh, Zero VSH Patcher. I had GTA Remastered and Native enabled. And once I disabled those along with the, uh, with the other uh, advanced configuration setting, which was the Force High Memory Layout, uh, the NES emulator was working just fine. So... If you need those plugins for a certain app or whatever, just go back, re-enable them uh, when you want to use them. And then if you want to use NES emulator, the Nestor J, just go into your plugins, disable, exit, restart your PSP, and you should be good to go. And that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions whatsoever, please comment down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot, especially here on YouTube with the whole algorithm. I would really appreciate that. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you on the next one.